All right, welcome back. There's the district attorney of Lafouche Parish, Cam Movant, and I got to tell you why we're looking at him. So instrumental in getting the bad salts and the synthetic marijuana off the street. Now, they're trying to get it back on, and they're putting it back on the shelves, but I promise you we're going to talk to him in a little bit. Uh, he's not too happy about it, and uh, he'll let you know about that. But, Cam, welcome to the program. We Thank you, Martin. It. It's good to be back. I'm, I'm glad I have you here with me tonight. Uh, yeah. Missed you last time. Yeah, we had a little uh, family matter. Yeah, that's so what I heard. I'm glad everybody's doing all right. But thank you. Now, you have a big case coming up in Lafouche Parish. Can you talk a little bit about it? I know you're limited yeah. on what you could say. Yeah, I, I can talk a little bit about it. Um, it's uh, a week from, from this coming Monday, August 22nd. Uh, we start picking a jury. And it's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, it's a case that's been, it, uh, it's, it, it happened about 20 years ago. It was a killing of a, uh, of a, of a priest in Thibodeau. Uh, Hunter Horgan. Um, we, we're hopefully finally bringing it to some conclusion, and uh, you know I'll start picking a jury on that case. Hopefully next uh, Monday morning on the 22nd, and uh, it should go for a few days. But um, it's been in our office for five years. Right. The arrest was made about five years ago, and, and we've we've had a lot of different motions and a lot of different issues that have come up, and we've gone back and forth with between the district court, mm -hmm. uh, the courts of appeal, the Supreme Court, and actually the United States Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And we finally got it back into district court, and, uh, and as I said just a few minutes ago, I hope I, uh, you know, we get a jury pick next uh, week after next and, and, and get it concluded. I know you can't talk about the case, but how much energy does it take for your office to, to do these kind of cases? And it, it's got to just be a, a lot. whole bunch of energy. A lot. It's, yeah. it's, the, uh, it's, it's physical, but it's also a lot of mental. It's just yeah. dealing, dealing, with, uh, dealing with files and... and, and, and and when something is going on that long, uh, obviously there's a lot of paperwork that's been generated, and, and we have we have a file that's approximately 700 and something pages long, um, and so uh, it's just going through all the you know all the different things that have occurred since uh, August of 1992. Uh, we have a lot of people working on it in the office. We have uh, Christine Russell. It's in uh, Judge Johnny LeBlanc's uh, division, and Christine's assigned to that division to do felonies. So, you know, we've worked on the file. I have my investigators helping me. The uh, Thibodeau Police Department's involved in it. The uh, Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Office, um, the, the Attorney General's Office. So we have a lot of people, State Police Crime Lab, and we have a lot of people on board with us. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to see what happens in, in the next week or so. I watch all these TV shows where the DA is pointing everybody to go do their cases. But now with you, you still get active in all these cases. Uh, yeah, I still sometimes wonder why, but when, when, it, yeah. gets, when it gets this close and, 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 and the stress level kind of hikes up a little bit, but um, I, I, I truly enjoy it. I mean, I, I can't say I don't, and uh, um, I said I was not going to do another one. In fact, you and I, I talked with you about that a couple of years ago yeah. after we finished yeah. the, uh, the ABAT trial, there and you, you came by and did an interview. Came back, didn't yeah, it? it took a little while, but it came yeah. back, yeah. So, so anyway, we're going we're gonna, to, you know, for the family, for the victims, they, they need some closure. Mm -hmm. one way or the other and, and we're gonna let the system work I mean that's what it does that's what I've been doing for 30 years we, we present what we have and you know we put 12 folks in the jury box and they listen to it and, and the people in Lafouche Parish do a good job they make good decisions they're very attentive during our trials and so um, I'm looking forward just to getting in the courtroom and, and again concluding and getting some closure for the victims. Bad salts and synthetic marijuana we had you on here you and Joe Waits and right. the DA's fought hard to get legislation passed right you got it passed. It goes through. Governor signs it. And here we go again. Yeah. Bad salt's back on the shelf. That, that's got to be discouraged. It for is. Everybody. It is. In fact, uh, Mona told me uh, I was busy uh, most of the afternoon in some meetings, but um, uh, she sent me a text that she had talked to you guys and, and said you wanted to talk about it. So I did call um, someone with our drug task force and, t you know, to talk to them to see exactly what's you know what's going on because I had talked to them before and I came in here last time mm -hmm. and unfortunately it's uh, it, it, what they've done is, is again just just trying to get around with the, what the statute is is that you know it's still there it's not it's not there in, in the volume it was in before you started doing this it's not um, and, and they were telling me that that a lot of merchants have voluntarily taken it off the shelf you still have a few but the way I interpret the statute the way it's amended it's a lot what we refer to in our profession is a lot broader than what the other statute was before it was amended. In other words, it gives us as prosecutors and law enforcement a lot more leadway to go in and, and uh, you know, and, and, and put a stop to this. So for the ones that are selling it, that, that almost are mocking everybody. Yeah. You do have an option whether or not 
Do you think you have some leeway to go in there and disrupt that a little bit? Absolutely. And and uh, and I've I've spoken to members of our drug task force and to our sheriff, and, and they're gonna uh, you know they're aggressively looking at some 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 uh, some stores now, mm -hmm. because what 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 they did, all they did was was that the the groups of people that are manufacturing these products that are, that are actually what they're doing is it's a business. It's like it's like cocaine. Right. It's like marijuana. You got someone who grows it or someone who manufactures it, then they sell it to the to the upper echelon middleman, and that person distributes it out to the local distributor, and the local distributor then sends it out to the runners on the street. Well, what they're doing, they're manufacturing this product, they're giving it to someone who's trucking it into our parishes and selling it to the retail stores, the ones that want to put it on, uh, put it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is that, you know, these people have to know by now uh, you know, you could almost kind of give some people the benefit of the doubt a few months ago when we first, when we came on about three months ago, what, three, three or four, or four months, months ago, ago, and you could kind of give them a little bit the benefit of the doubt because that's when it first started kind of breaking yeah. locally in our area. If you remember, we had some kids went to the hospital. Right. And um, in fact, I called you about that. We had you some did. kids from Lafouche Parish that ended up going to the hospital. Absolutely. And so we can kind of give them the benefit of the doubt at that time, but there's no real benefit anymore. I mean, it's been publicized. Uh, it's, it's been in all the news media. And, and in fact, you know, if, if, if in fact what's happening, my understanding is it's almost like it's turned into like a black market where some of them don't have it on the shelves, but they know what you want and they'll get in the back. And right. to me, that's that's just as bad or worse than having it right up in the front for the general and, and public. That's what I'm hearing. But it, it's more. And we talked about it last time. It becomes a, a moral issue, too. Doesn't sure it? does. Sure it does. You that's probably what irritates you the most. Isn't it? Yeah, it, it would. It, you know. Now we're thinking about it, it'd almost be like a, uh, someone that sells a gro groceries putting contaminated food on the shelf or contaminated meat, or contaminated chicken, or some product that they know has some contamination in it that's going to make somebody sick and sell it anyway. Right. I mean, I, I, I think that's a pretty good analogy yeah. because if you ingest this, this stuff, it's, it's, it's going to do you some harm. It, you, you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put you in a hospital. It, it could potentially kill you, and then it can also, if you if you don't die from it, we don't know what the long term effects are going to be for these young people that are, you know that ingesting this stuff. Wouldn't you really have to just get one of them, be successful at prosecuting them, and probably all of them would fall in line after that? Yeah, and but you know what they're telling me, and I was pleased so far because um, obviously what you know what I do as district attorney, I'm not on the road, you know, patrolling and going out. But the the drug, the agent I was I, I spoke to, in fact, on the way here, I called him told me that, that it, they, since the new legislation has come to pass, even the people that had it on the shelves, most of them have removed the product. So it's not as bad in Lafouche Parish as I think it was before, you know, you started bringing this out to the public and we all started talking about it. So let's switch gears a little bit. Y are y'all still going to the classroom school start now? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're going to get your oh, yeah. programs. Looking going forward to, to that. Talk a little bit about that and what y'all been doing. We, we had our meetings at, at the office the other day and I, I was pleased uh, at the turnout that we have. We're going we're gonna to do our project uh, lead program. You know, where we, we go into you know, we go into the sixth grade schools in the parish and talk about what I've talked about on here. You know, making making decisions and, and you know the consequences, choices and consequences. Uh, we do our graduation program. That's going to be down the road. Um, I enjoy going into the schools. I campaigned on that a long time ago when I ran for district attorney. Uh, I think last year I probably visited and went in and spoke at 22, 23 different schools. With you know, just go yeah, in and, and do that. It. it gets pretty emotional. I mean, it, it, yeah, y'all really hit him in the heart. It, it does, especially the domino program that we we call it a domino program that we do for the uh, for the seniors around graduation, uh, and, it, and it deals with driving while impaired. And in fact, we did we added uh, texting to the uh, to the program this year, which is a very powerful video that that we ended up getting. Lisa Ogeron ran that program for me this year and, and got a good video on on texting while yeah. driving and. And, and you know, because there's no way you can you can drive and 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 sit that, there and yeah. look and text at the same time. I mean, it's just. We're gonna probably you know. do our next program. I think you're coming on for the whole hour. Huh? Okay, I didn't. That's good. Yeah, uh, six o'clock. Okay, yeah. all See, right. They're taking care of you over there. Okay. We're gonna talk about texting. That would be a good. Well, topic. we can talk about a lot of things. I mean, I did talks in the schools last year on um, on sexting. Yeah. Where they, right. they, these young people are taking inappropriate pictures of themselves mm -hmm. and sending them out to people who they think are their friends. And they're there forever. And they, as I tell them, you know, my saying is, I said, when you when you, 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 you put that image on there, you put that message on there, and you hit that button, I know grammatically it's not correct, but it ain't never coming back. That's right. <laughs> it's That's never exactly coming back. Right. It's out there, and, and somebody's going to show you that at your 20th uh, uh, reunion because they're going to still have it. Yeah. You know, and so uh, and, and, and what's difficult, though, it's, it, it is it's difficult to get sometimes these young 12, 13, 14 year olds, yeah. 15 year olds to understand won't leave you. that there's a future. 
You know, in other words, what I mean by that, that what they're doing today, if they're if they're putting it in, in an image form and sending it out over over the Internet, it's not coming back. It's not. You can't say, oops, I'm sorry later on. Or I wish I wouldn't have done it. And we've actually had some incidents in some of the schools where it's happened. And, and it is it's also a crime now. Really? It's not. Yes. Okay. It, the legislature has made it a crime to okay. to disseminate. It's a crime to send it out. And if someone receives the image right. and they disseminate it or send the image out, they've committed a crime. Yeah, so it's, it's actually has just recently the law was amended and uh, it's, it's become it's become a crime. And then we also have cyberbullying, which which is very unfortunate and can re lead to some very unfortunate results for young people where, where, where you know, a group of a group of kids. I mean, we've always had bullying. Right. I mean, you know, uh, I went to that Thibodeau College. Back, way back. Yeah. I, I started Thibodeau College in fourth grade and it was all boys and it went from fourth grade to seniors. <laughs> so you had yeah. to hide at recess sometimes, all right, for, right. when you went fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. It made you tougher, but it still wasn't it, right. It, yeah. it wasn't right, but we've all went through it. But the, the, the cyberbullying, I've actually seen some of them that, that have gone through it. And it's, it's horrible what, you know, what, what, you know, when, when somebody has to go through that. Well, we appreciate you making the drive here and staying well, on top. appreciate of you we're gonna get you. On. We got you for a whole hour next time. Okay, so, good. Uh, it's going to be good to get in before, depth about before that. I, before I run, I saw your interview with Coach Albert. Yeah. Good interview. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. You know, it brought back some memories. I mean, uh, you know. Coach, you used to coach at Vanderbilt. Coach well, he hired Vanderbilt. me. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, brother, brother was, was, the, was the, you know, was the, was the principal, but, mm -hmm. but, but Coach Albert's the one that actually called me um, a long time ago. Yeah. And, uh, and it was good to see Gerald. He looks good, and uh, he looks like he's doing well. And, and, and the accomplishments that you, you know, that you forget about, yeah. you know, sometimes you get away from your profession and people don't they never forget but they don't they just don't have that vivid memory of all the accomplishments that that you know a guy like he you know when he was coaching that he had he's got so a heck of a legacy he does he does he's a good guy he looks like you know? he still wants to coach too he looks good he doesn't i haven't seen him in a long time you know i really haven't and unfortunately and we just haven't gotten together you know you yeah. you, you move on you go to different paths but anyway it was a, it was a good interview and i wanted to tell you that okay. and, and wish him the best but you've got a good uh record going too and just in closing uh Pretty successful record as DA of Lafouche Parish. You got to be proud of that. Well, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to feel. I, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Um, when when I when I got sworn in uh, back on, uh, on on January the 13th, 2003, and I, I made the statement that when it was all said and done, if all they could say was he did a good job, I was satisfied with that. And that's all I think we ought to strive for. You know, as, in, in life, as public officials or whatever we do, you know, if folks, when you finish, can say, yeah, God did a pretty good job. That's that's a, you know, to me, that's, that's about as good as sometimes well, I think it gets. You've done a pretty, pretty, pretty good job. <laughs> well, so I think they have it remains to be there. seen, Martin. Thank you for having me. I look forward to seeing you again next month. Thank you, Coach. I still right, call him Coach. Cam over on the DA of Lafouche Parish. We'll take a break. When we come back, TGMC is on the set. Dr. Rob Alexander, don't go away.